Welcome back, everyone, to Hearts of Iron 4, which we're using the mod called Road to Enhancement. But right now, we got to talk about the UK wanting to limit our naval rearmament. A recent effort, so a bit of larger fleet have propelled us among the ranks of the major naval powers. The United Kingdom clearly feels threatened by our expanded fleet and sent a delegation to a capital to negotiate a mutual arms limitation treaty. The treaty would be modeled on the Second London Naval Treaty and resist strict to the size of the capital ships, as well as the limit our overall fleet size and capital ships and not exceed the fleet of the uh, United Kingdom. So we're another common term. Meter Moors, allies, these terms are acceptable. Max carrier cost, heavy ship cost. Uh, naval disarmament, you know, I don't think so. I really don't think so, but we've got some comms to go through. And we're nationalizing the strategic uh, reserves and whatnot. Resource, which I read last time too, but nationalizing industries responsible for producing strategic resources will improve our yield of these resources along sustain our military better, which is very nice. Uh, Plan Z would be nice, but you know, whatever. Uh, for now, modernize air support. <coughs> Excuse me. Mm, it's not bad. Not super great though. Build the Panzer Army. Yeah, we read this one earlier too. Before we bear the French commune, we must ensure that our armored divisions are up to date and fully stocked with the tanks they need. Pennsylvania. I think another one too. So. Yeah, I read this one last time too. But some comments include. Uh, can you turn the end game volume down a little bit? If, I don't know if it's just me, but it's pretty loud right now. So, yeah, I did turn it down just a tiny, tiny bit. Ooh, pair of the Western Theater. France has been an opponent of our political and military expansion, was one of the leaders in writing the darn of Versailles Treaty. Thus, we must prepare for the competition with them at any moment. Alliance with the Repubblica Sociale Italiana. Fair Italian invasion. Get a bus for mountaineers and special forces. And three, free infrastructure. That ain't bad. Claims to the role. Well, we need to do that one to do this one. So we get a core on that, which actually I'll probably do. Research Eastern Claims. Oh boy. Well, the Great War still lost so much German territory in the east with the resurrection of Poland and the transfer of ML to Lithuania. And ultimatum should be sent to both nations, but Poland at least will likely not bow to your words. Hey, we'll have to wait and see. We're running out of manpower, unfortunately. Um, but like I said, we'll have to wait and see. Oh boy, that's all. A lot of uh, resistance all over the place here, right? Eh? Uh, Romanian People's Republic leaves the X. Oh. Well, the world's definitely changing. Well, how could you go communist? How? Why? Why would you do such a thing? Is that really worth getting right now? Organization, 8th generation chance, uh, construction speed and factory con consumer goods. Oh, and more construction speed. Consumer goods factories. Retention. Output is nice, though. Eventually, doesn't really matter. I mean, building up is pretty good, though. Ooh. Kind of want to sacrifice. Business interest, cost plus, supply chain. Rush production, expendable later. That sounds like us. That really sounds like us. What the heck, Romania? <coughs> Bunch of commies. Danish Norway, huh? Ah. Kampfgruppe? Nice. Well, we can go to war with Denmark now. We really wanted to. Well. I'm gonna guess. I don't want to send all divisions up there. Let's just send you guys up there. Uh, the pursuit, press censorship, eh. Uh, keep that one open. Manpower. Manpower one's pretty nice. Bulgaria. Influence them? Start influencing? Oh, I could try it. Send factory to them. Require 30 influence power. I try to improve relations with the start of Bulgaria by temporarily giving them our factories. Send advisors. Would they prefer to be with us? We lose 20% political power. That's quite a bit. And send investment in expedition to Bulgaria, yet requires 60 influence power. <coughs> one and a half influence. Well, I'd rather lose this one first. I'll do both. Why not? Quite a bit of the power gone, but whatever. I still 38, and we're getting closer to 39, so I want to keep an eye on that. Anything for planes at all ahead of time? Yeah, but still. Uh, and director fire. Uh, that's not bad, especially if it's in th this close. Hit chance, artillery, hit chance, not bad overall. Uh, what happens if we do do this as well? Oh, they've been called in. Oh, hello. Oh. To Copenhagen we go. Well, I guess we have to invade then. Um, destroyers, let's just stick you guys. Go home, and you're gonna grab Lancer. There you go. 
There you go, not bad. Uh, what do we have currently being produced? Carriers and a heavy ship hull. We probably need a some sort of light cruiser, perhaps? We have a decent amount of stuff we could use here. Secondary batteries, three, two, rapid fire guns, it's a mediums, cruiser twos. I really want that one, that's fine. Uh, two, mediums, twos, anti sub stuff. Yeah. That's good to get. So. You guys go over there too. See what you can do. Keel? I can't believe we lost Keel. And. Nice. Oh, we lost combo. That's not nice. Plain stuff? Nice. And there's Denmark. Uh, I want Iceland. State of Greenway, huh? Well, we can't get Iceland, huh? Darn it. Let's make a ship too, I suppose. Embargo by America already? We're still at war with these guys, huh? Well then. Oslo? It's probably a bad idea doing it like this, but whatever. Let's go there. Good luck. Jaganaut program, give him a fill command. Uh, permit SS recruitment? Yeah, I'll probably do that one. Um, what else do we have? Formal Camel Corps? Probably not. What else we got around here? Anything else? War bonds? Ooh, war bonds immediately. That'd be pretty nice. Civilian scrap? We do have Hungary, but uh, we need to raise conscription level, in all honesty. That really would be for the best. Czechoslovakia seeks protection. <coughs> the radical of fascist elements in Czechoslovakia are represented by Herr Rozovac from Vlajka. We'll like to take power in the country and establish a new government based on the national socialistic ideas. The country is in internal isolation, international isolation, and the internal political strife presents a unique opportunity to secure the country. However, Vlajka requires the support with the organization of the coup and securing the country in the aftermath. What are your orders? Support them. Becomes a puppet of us, which is nice. We get check industry. We have other plans. Well, we'll support them. Look at that. Oh, they approach us. Oh, we'll encourage the Bulgarian society with us. Free political power? I like it. Look at this guy. Study the latest military doctrines. <coughs> Who knew this would happen? I kind of did. Consolidate the Czechoslovak state. Removes all communism related national ideas. Good idea. A military coup. And technology sharing. Under the Reich's protection. Special bonus. Pro Nazi collaboration elements will attempt to coup with support for the German Reich. A public government will be installed. Deal with the devil. Vassal. Zalozy for Polish Alliance. That was the easiest time we ever got these guys. I would have preferred them under us. And they're just our ex protectorate, so. I guess we have to deal with them then. As we research Eastern claims. I guess, you know, the failure that student Germans are one of the worst injustices inflicted by the Treaty of Versailles. Won't be brought under protection regardless of check objections. Nice. Fair Czechoslovakia. I guess they'll take them out, but we need more manpower. Uh, you know, this will just bypass. The time has come to buy the Czech old Czech lands. Between those who can govern them properly, we shall also consider the creation of a separate Slovak uh, puppet state to the east. Which we don't need to. According to charge. Ooh. Air supply. Air fuel supply consumption goes down. That's actually really good. You know, I do want to. Ooh, Vesa Ubung. <clears throat> Norway is a critical strategic point. It will be an obvious point of attack for an enemy wanting to disrupt a steel trade with Sweden. We're going to risk our enemies setting up bases in this region. To obtain a good stating area for the invasion of Norway, we need to move on to Denmark first. War with them or not. Prepare the Eastern Theater. Oh, we get a core on Danzig. Want that ribbon drop back? Well, out of the First World War, Poland stole the part of Danzig from us, the port of Danzig. In addition to that, they are a tactical pathway to Eastern Europe. We must beef up our infrastructure along the Polish border. The mail of the Republic of Lithuania folds. The Lithuanian government has agreed to do our mans, and the mail will be incorporated back into East Prussia. Yet another unlawfully stolen province has been returned to the German nation. Excellent. With the German forces on the border poised to attack, not really, the Republic of Lithuania has given in to a German ultimatum demanding the surrender of the old Prussian territory of the mail. The mail once belonged to East Prussia and became an official mandate of the League of Nations, following the Treaty of Versailles only to be annexed by Lithuania in 1923 after Klaipeda revolters took control over the region. The acquired territory is announced to be reintegrated into the region of Ostpreisen. 
Have yet reached the extent of German territorial ambitions in Europe? Experts are doubtful. Germans everywhere must be united. Exactly, exactly. You can immediately go there almost. Yeah. We are out of planes. That is not good. Um, so, as soon as these ones are done, we're done making uh, cities for now. That sounds nice. Good. Six research slots. That's so nice. I'm going to grab that anyways immediately. Anything else here? We could use maybe one more here. Ecuador is gone, but I don't think people are really going to be missing Ecuador. Just saying. Let's go! <coughs> Excuse us. Republic of Norway, as long as we get what we really want here, which is, like, territory. As long as we get one landing strip here, that's all I really care about. Nice. Alright, so can we at least get this? Well... Is this a good idea sending these guys over here? Probably not at all, because it's mountainous. It's definitely not the way I predicted pre-World War II would go. Oh, don't tell them that they're going to get guaranteed, though. Oh! Hello! That is... Oh, my God. Oh. I thought it was just Texas. No, it's New... Ha is that New Hampshire? FDR versus... J. Edgar Hoover? Wait, what? <coughs> Wait, how did J. Edgar Hoover become this? Well, it'd be Pelly who's been doing this or something. Uh, that is New Hampshire. I was like, just Texas. I'm like, okay. The Second American Civil War, after months of protests and increasing tension between the supporters of President J. Edgar Hoover, he's the president, and his opponents in the so-called Constitutionalist camp. Constitutionalist politicians have declared a new government based in Boston, home of the First American Revolution. The divisions in society run straight through the families and institutions. Parents said a slight majority of the military decided to side with the Constitutionalists and state governments throughout the continental U.S. to declare their allegiance for one side or the other. So of the soul of America has been bro broken out into the open. Well, now these, the West Coast is broken out. Did not expect that to happen at all. All right, then. So any more guns? Let's get a 200. We're just going to go and do whatever it takes to get rid of uh, strikes. I hate strikes so much. Oh my god. Going in charge? Well, we'll do that. We can do this one too, maybe. No, I wouldn't mind doing this one, or this one, or this one. Production costs. If out there are on the project. Demand Sylvania, we can. Why not? Oh, come on. So be it. You know what? I'm going to actually take you out. Model. It's fine. Let's go and grab some of the stuff ahead of time now. Eighty, hundred percent nice. <coughs> Excuse me. What do we have here? So. Really crappy subs. Hopefully they give in. Ship designers, it's 1939. Less of detection, less heavy attack. Get your money buffed. Why not? We're doing that. Let's get some better artillery. 1939 also includes what else? Dora? It includes Dora the Explorer. That's right. Go ahead. Hopefully they give in to the pressure. I don't think they'll be able to stop us. But we do have to do the Ribbon uh, anti commentary Pact as well. But uh, the Molotov Ribbon Drop Pact. A treaty of friendship and non-aggression with the USSR might turn the stomach, but allow their precious oil to keep flowing in Germany. 
Uh, look at that. They joined the Allies. What the heck? Uh, the secret addendum will divide the territories of Romania, Poland, Lithuania, Est Latvia, Estonia, and Finland into German and Soviet spheres of influence. So, so it says, oh, that methadone fiend over the man of destiny. Why has it come to his madness? Uh, let's see. Yes, uh, it's, it also says, it's kind of dumb in 1936 to be beginning depression recovery. By that time, they've already had just done that. Yeah, pretty much. So, uh, someone says, thanks for using this mod. Uh, I guess a mod creator says that, so thank you. Someone says, please try and get some decent borders instead of taking all the states, at least release Italy. Oh, let's see. Someone says, please do Reichskommissariats. So, um, yeah. Our plight to overturn the current world order has not skipped the notice of our like minded nation. The Uruguayan recognizes that their best chance is to carve out a prosperous future for themselves is aligned with us in, coming, in our coming conflict, and therefore offer to formally join us against our enemies. Bruh. They're guaranteed by America. You know what? We were abandoned by the, the Romanians, so I guess we'll take the Uruguayans. Ooh, we look like we probably will need more manpower. Modern battlefield, though. That's timber organization. That's nothing to laugh at. That's pretty decent. Over here, mission type tactics. Better recovery rate, less attrition, less experience soldier losses. Own combat width goes down. So you don't get any more manpower, huh? That's different. That's unique. That's kind of cool. I like that it's different. More breakthrough and soft attack. Own combat width goes down. More recovery rate. Less experienced soldiers' losses, or just more flat organization. No, I'm still gonna go with this one though. But, oh god, oh god! I have to just go, mute that just a little bit, just because. Uh, you never know if I get my copyright struck. So far, the last video did not, but the USA passes war powers. Well, I mean, bro, what a mess you are right now. Put naval equipment manufacturers, huh? Not bad. Um, we're going to need way more of this, though. What are we building? Right there. Build one of these as well. We'll probably need it, especially once we won't be able to get like rubber and stuff. Cool. Ah. China pledges an expansion for a military mission. <laughs> China's ambassador sent us a community key requesting a greater involvement. I forgot about these guys. Of our advisors of the Chinese National Army. Our military advisors have been present in the country since 1926. Accepting to their request would greatly improve our relations with the Chinese National Government. Dispatch more military advisors. Um, less organization. We can't afford it. Sure. Oh, they're a bunch of fascists. Huh. Are you, why are you criticizing me for weak foreign policy? Did you not see what we're trying to do here? Uh, I saw that one coming. I don't see if Slovenia's going to get in, though. That's a good war. Multiple room drop back as well. It's 1939. Happy 1939, everybody. Ah, oh, there's that man. Handsome. I know. Well, he is, he is who he is. Um, Danzig War. Yeah. Danzig was German. Danzig has remained German. And Danzig shall be German from now on. And if Poland does not see the territory, we must prepare the German people for the inevitable war. Danzig and the surrounding lands will return to Germany. Yeah. Oh. Take Danzig in exchange for support. Second Vienna Award. Well, a lot of this is going to auto go anyways. Tank designer, Henschel, max speed and mobility, armor, Porsche, it just, it just better have more armor. Good. 41, 40, 38. Ireland join the Allies. Uh, uh, that's one now. Motorized, we could, but Jaegers. I mean, they're good in mountains, but like it's, I hate having to try to get those guys done. A Marine or two wouldn't be bad, though. Uh, garrison divisions, that's different. Let's get 18 combo with here. That's all you can really afford. Can't make any more, though. So. Oh, they reject the pact. A recent message from our spies in Moscow and surroundings suggests that the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics has refused to sign a non-aggression pact. Moreover, Yosef Stalin has made an official speech this morning to the population of the country, in which he denounced a proposal of peace and prosperity in Eastern Europe as an inferior effort of puny German leadership to gain trust of Soviet people, only to betray us as long as their assistance will not be needed. While reading the report, Nevin Goring has had his face turned white with hands shaking, and mentioning something of Vrata, Vrata, 
It complicates matters since we cannot deal decisively with the Polish Republic or the French Commune without the risk of the Soviets getting themselves involved. Curse them. We have Schneikies. The modern army. Uh, most civilian more output. Selfish Volkswagen. West Wall? Yeah. The West Wall, or runs parallel to the France's vaulted Maginot Line, occupying much of the same ground as the Siegfried Line did in the previous Valkyrie. Fortifying his defenses will allow us to hold the border with fewer men, freeing up divisions to participate in any potential Eastern campaigns. We won't need that many divisions to hold the line. Hopefully. So... They already joined the Allies, huh? Well, the Comintern is definitely going to go to war with the Allies eventually. Guarantee of that. Um. <coughs> Excuse me. Well, we could just go to war with the Polish, I guess. You know. Of course, they're probably guaranteed, aren't they? No, they're not. Six Balkan claims warranted. A delegation from the Tsar of Bulgaria has approached the government asking for German support for the claims of the Balkans and seeking to secretly negotiate and secure Bulgarian territorial expansion in the region. Soon, in exchange, for Bulgaria in line with the German Reich and the countries entering into the Axis. No. No. Dora! I guess we didn't have to just find them. Why did I just find them? It was better with the Panzer Army too, though. <coughs> yeah, before we invade the French Army, we must ensure that our armor divisions are up to date and fully stocked with them the tanks they need. Yeah, that'd be good. For its top, eh? Nice. Um, fuel? Yeah, that'd be good. There's lots of fuel. Hello. Actually. Become owner on the Denzigar War. Take Zanzig exchange for support. I'm gonna do a portion of these guys over here, too. This is pretty nice. Owen oh, Rommel, they're next. Well, let's see. Go and train real quick. Can I answer in, of course? So we need a pretty ar massive army to, to fight on this front, as well as this front at the same time. That's not good for us. Not good whatsoever. Good amount of political power, though. Um, Blom. Messerschmitt, I always do Messerschmitt because it's probably the best. Ooh, Junkers? Ooh, fuck, both I like. So I don't usually like to do them. I like doing Junkers quite a bit too, probably. Well, let's see. Danzig War. Let's see if that's the, the best one to do. I don't trust these Frenchies. Anti tank rifle. Chile request advisors. Well. Well, the nation of Chile has requested we send an advisor. The recent National Socialist Regime aligns quite close to our south. It could be an interest to have an ally in the region. Heck yeah, if this all goes south, we're going to go to uh, South America. Coach Student. Nice. And yeah, we need more meta deckers. <clears throat> Beautiful. Let's well, see what happens. Just like industry. More population is very nice. Very good. Volksgemeinschaft. Side announced. Oh, hello. Just what we want. Uh, are you winning your war or are you not? Grand Columbia seems to be doing pretty well. Oh, uh, Poland refuses to see Danzig. Of course they do. Despite our attempts to allow Poland to hand over Danzig peacefully, even vowing up to give our claims on other German territories in exchange, we have met with, been met with a refusal. As expected, the world grows nothing to us that we do not seize by force. They, knew, they know very well what the alternative is. 
Mexican Resource Exchange. Plutarco E. Callas has offered a trade deal with the German if Hemagoring will agree to Mexico designs on the latest light latest light and medium tanks we have developed. <coughs> it seems. We're the first stage in closer Mexican German relations, so even if it serves no military purpose, it may be useful to us geopolitically. Of course. The state of the art tank designs could be falling into the hands of a future enemy. Sure, why not? If they can't pay us eventually, we'll just take their stuff back. Yeah. <coughs> Excuse me. France has been a point of political and military expansion, was one of the leaders on the right in the Darm for Satri. Thus, we must be prepared for competition with them at any moment. Quite literally. So they get they don't get a guarantee, so I'll, let's 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 save real quick first. We'll, we'll get our guys around a little bit. Stop training just a tiny bit. And uh you guys need guys there. Boop boop. Boop boop. What are you? Fighter goes boop. And that fighter and dive bomber go. Nice. Boop. Well, Caracas. So we can go to war with them now. And we're like, bruh. And you guys go like, bye bye. Danzig joins the German Reich. Our spies in Danzig have informed us of the local government will back the cause. Most excellent. Beautiful, yes. So that's an actual garrison division. Eight combat with, huh? That's interesting. Uh, I'm going to throw him over here for now. Hello. Beautiful. How would you guys... Oh, reserve transfer. Reinforce rate. Rocket by the Kingdom of Siam. This is getting very weird. Well, this army XP with our tanks. These are decent guys. But we're going to go maintenance companies too. What do we not have? Light tanks, carriers, good stuff like that. We're going to wait to sub threes for that one. You guys kind of suck. Aircraft stuff, heavy batteries are fine there. Secondary batteries. Uh, Battlecruiser 2s, slightly slower. That's going to be nice. Beautiful. What are we missing besides planes? We're always missing planes. It's just planes. Cass. Naval bombers. Probably we need a lot more fighters. Very good. Level five, nice. We're in war economy. We're preparing the Western Theater. Fall of Warsaw, another victory for the Fatherland. And we fully got them. I should have read that one too. God dang it. Oh well. My bad. Well then. Um, so I still want to do that. <coughs> we're going to war with these guys. we got to go here. We also have to go... Oh, we have divisions here. And then we... Ooh, I guess we lose this part too. And we have to do here to here. These guys might be able to hold out. But this is a lot of extra territory we'd have to defend. Costing and costing for the UK to do that, but whatever. So we're back in peace. Just a little quick trip to Poland, that's all it took. But we will get Reich's coming to which we probably should actually start doing next. For the Western Theater, War with France. Um, 
Combine the SS and Gestapo. Combine the SS and Gestapo give us a uh, force capable of military operations, peacekeeping, and anti terrorist operations. And there goes the Allies in the common turn. Uh, I knew it was going to happen eventually. So preparing for listening theater. Mexican entry into the Axis. Kali has submitted a request to join the Axis. Whether this seeks mutual assist protection or a foreign expansion is unknown, but Mexico's oil. That was a lucrative asset to have on her side. Sure. Why not for now? Generation chance. Better anti air. We might get to there eventually. We'll see. Um, steel, rubber, aluminum. Not bad stuff to have, but still. No, we're good, man. You deal with your own stuff. We'll deal with our own as well. Can we actually invade them without any repercussions? America! Oh, <coughs> God, why, America? Why? Got some Marines. That's pretty nice. Um, you know what? Start making this guy over here. Are the Marines the best place for this guy over here? Probably not, honestly. But whatever. Here. Yeah, Von Klusha. From the Mexican Marines. Improve the use of local resources and industry and manpower. We should look into establishing quasi-autonomous subject governments in our conquered areas. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you definitely want to do that. Nope, we're good. Backhand blow. Blow them backhands, huh? So. I'll just fight in the commentary now, eh? <clears throat> if we want. How many divisions does the Soviet Union actually have? A lot of manpower. A god awful amount of divisions. Jesus. Yeah, we should have made more divisions. My god. Ah, they're fighting on here too. That's good. That's good to see. Yeah, redirect policing occupants. More than five occupied enemy states. Just for the sky. World tension is decreased by 15. Loof off the funds. What's that? Someone asked if this is all the extra focuses that Goring gets. I guess it is. Kind of sucks. I'm sure it was more. Ah. The friend of the Romanian People's Republic. War with them. Second Vienna Award. Well, they're dead, so. Transylvania has a Hungarian majority and should rather belong to friends in Hungary. However, it's hard to say how the Romanian regime was, oh, and people will react to this demand. Well, we'll see, I guess. Quality over. Uh, quantity. Not bad. But we're definitely going to go to quality. Reuse captured heavy weapons. That's not bad. Investment portfolio. We'll see what we can do. Sure, why not? Why not? Prepare military training for an influence. Well, we have enough influence stuff down going down here, so. Oh, yeah, these guys too. Yeah. Ooh, we actually have a carrier. Look at that. Oh, we need to get some actual planes. That's not ideal. Medium tanks. Uh, I don't really want to invest in them. It'd be probably good to do so. But, oopsie. Look at the plane stuff. Are you. Ugh. Stop telling me I'm, I'm criticized for a weak foreign policy. We have to be smart how we do things. Then we could go to war with the, uh, well, I'll see, for the Allies at least, that includes Canada. I mean, we could go to war with the Allies instead of the Comintern, but then it would be the Comintern against us. We could probably launch a pretty good naval invasion into there. How's Belgium looking? If we could take out Belgium, you know, we could probably take out Belgium and then invade through here. Because right now you guys don't have a lot of divisions. Pretty good fleet. Mm, maybe. You guys stay where you're at. You guys, uh... Keep doing what you're doing. And if they invade, we're kind of screwed, but whatever. <coughs> Excuse me, yeah. There you go. And there you go. Another place to do It's very good to have. Um, over here, we're going to grab you. Declare arms neutrality, eh? 
Well, we'll see how long that lasts. Pure Pine is good. Go ahead of time, but I don't care. I thought we already were embargoed by America. Whatever. Um, medium basic aircrafts. Get more there and get even more there too. So you guys are not going to go over here, hold, hold the line if we need to. They're still kind of st struggling the, over there, which is fine. Let them weaken each other down as much as possible. I don't really care. And you go. Don't get stuck over there. I'm going to train real quick. I'm doing stuff like this. That'd be nice. And. Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, there you go. Order above all. Above the Maginot. Improve national spirit. Around the Magino. Well, yeah. Get the claim on Open Milady. Uh, Goring in charge. Come on, do that one. We must allow Herman Goring to have full access to Germany with his guidance. So we can achieve anything. That's the type of belief we want to hear about. So, if you guys do this, we'll be at war with them. Before we do that, let's make sure no one is actually doing anything like that. Convoy rating. Take this one off as well. Just focus on ourselves up here. So the goal is to invade the UK. Now, if we can't actually do that, that'd be fantastic. Will that actually happen, though? Something else to be... Wait, you see. 15 days, not bad. Full fuel right now. Nederlande. Well, let's go to war first, and then we'll do uh, Nederlande. Donate fighters. Set. Well, we're going to lose that soon, so I don't want to do that. Hartano, Erzberg. Uh, this won't be worth doing, probably. Light anti air. Oh, we have enough. Nice and torpedo bombers. Definitely not enough, but whatever. Alright, let's see what we can do here. Um, actually, that's not a good idea, because you guys are in the Allies, you're going to be part of the Allies. Uh, here. Let's do that real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. And here we go. And there goes Belgium. Pretty simple, pretty easy. So now there's a difficult part of us going to be trying to invade over here. Actually, you guys take him out because he's dead. You guys come over here. No, what do you got? Dive bombers, dive bombers, dive bombers, dive bombers, dive bombers. Yeah. And for now, I want you to avoid this area. It's probably for the best. You guys are down there. I want to send our tanks down there to Yugoslavia as well. Which is only increases a further... Further increases like how big of a border we have with these guys. Which sucks. But whatever. Now we're still this garrison division here. Make sure you're all like that. <clears throat> um, nah, we're good for now. Two from here to there. Make it six. <coughs> uh, let's land up there. Why not? For now, avoid that area. Um, 
Because you can go down there too, why not? Going in charge! He's a big man! War with France. Well, I don't think I want to waste for that one. Reach for the sky. Now that the Axe Marshal's in power, we can increase the range of our loop officers range in, uh, in the air. Oh. Good job, guys. Good job. Oh, we're in the war too. I want you to force the attack and go ahead. Nice. Oh, I should have waited to. Oh, whatever. I'm just going immediately. There's literally no point in waiting. Spot promoted. Strip for the capital. Split. Follow the grenade. Very good. Nice second one's up here. Very nice. It's a weird World War II. <clears throat> Very weird one. But it's ours all the same. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting there, getting there. Maybe. Okay, maybe not. Ah, they capitulate. Herman Goring's announced that the cowardly Yugoslav nation could no longer stand the pressure from the overwhelming presence of German forces throughout the country. The Yugoslav government chose to flee the country's gone in exile. The main forces have capitulated, and the German Reich is now control of their home area. Though the war against what remains of the Axis, our allies continues elsewhere in the screen. This is a great victory for all the Axis. Yeah. Well, since you're down here, you might as well. Model, yes. Yes. Oh, hello. We grant Bulgarian occupation. As previously agreed by the German and Bulgarian governments, the German Reich has ordered the transfer of control over territories claimed by the Tsar of Bulgaria and currently occupied by us, which the Bulgarian government will administer. Those Bulgarian upstarts. It's part of the bargain. Fine with me, but so we have to garrison. Alright, so, um, we can do that one we're going to. Promote Hans Luke. Lose some political power, get some, lose some army XP in general. Uh, we can do that in a little bit, maybe. Good God, Heidrich. Rupnik line. Whoa. Whoa, why is there so many forts there? Ljubljana. No, there's not that many forts. What the heck? Look at this one, though. There you go. Okay, sure, why not? <coughs> Whoa, come aboard. What is this? Is this machine tooling the Flanders? That would be bad, but... Hey, it's oh, this is quick. Oh, look at this. Yay! We made it to another... Yeah. Have cheers, everybody. Queen Wilhelmina. Wilhelmina. We government. The Christus Jaren. National Daddyism. So why do they sell that tree, then? They should have a puppetry. Cater to the... No. Bro, that should be auto automatically switched. Bruh. Oscar Metzka. Today a man was found in some place here, huh? Okay. Does that apply to us? Not really, no. Um You can beat take out Dunkirk if you really wanted to. Aggression, huh? Hello. Oh! The British Navy's there. Well then. More investment returns, huh? That sucks. Let's go see through three more subs. That's good. And we're back down here. They're doing quite well over there, too. Uh, oh, I'll do it again. Why not? Then the directs to Bulgaria must man access to Bulgaria. Even though they did not join our offensive in the Balkans, the sort of troops may use the Bulgarian borders as a base of operations from which to launch the invasion of Greece. I feel they should probably say yeah. I could be wrong. 
They grants military access. The other man we sent to Sofia to discuss using Bulgarian territory as a base of operations for our troops was informed us that the negotiations have been successful in the board's third, as already signed an agreement where by the German army has been granted military access to the Tsar of Bulgaria. Everything can go as according to plan, which I'd be surprised if they said no. Oh, hello. We may do want to go to war with uh, some Greek boys. How strong are them Greek boys? Alright, uh, might be able to do okay here. Not bad. Not a lot of work with, but I'll take whatever we can get. I'm looking up our allies down here too. Hello. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, there we go. Oh boy, don't lose our guys, man. Oh, we need to get some carrier planes, too. You can't sink anything? Come on. Find their stuff and just blow them all up. Got a few destroyers here and there. Not good enough, though. Bruh. Bruh, Sif. No safe just in case. Starting to lose a little bit of fuel. Ooh. Not ideal. Some better naval bombers. Um, Turn the allies is fine. Join the war, god dang it. G guys, join the war. Come on. We had more than enough time to like blitz through them, but you stupid ding dongs didn't do that. Are we getting naval invaded? Western, uh, the Western Med. Oh, how do we keep losing ships? Yeah, I'm sorry, but that's stupid. You know what? You want to do this crap? Combine. You know, what? do that. Hold on. Bruh. Alright, so we're going to repair way more. It's fine. A lot of the ships don't take too long to repair. We got one division left, and that was a failure. How do they... Oh, that's, oh, that's not ours. Okay, at least that's not ours. Oof. Um, uh, there. Nice. I'll get that one too. Reach for the skies. Redirect policing efforts, yes. Well, the political situation at home is safe. We should put the military police out, out, work elsewhere, diminishing their influence as well. International diplomacy? Well, we could probably wait for that one. We'll probably do increase the Luftwaffe funds. If haven't going favors the Luftwaffe, now we can finally increase our funding for the Luftwaffe's equipment and planes. Naval effort. Expansion of our navy should be our first priority. Get, sign all. Our available resources to the new dockyards and research into light service ships. The modern army. The German Reich shall be the first to demonstrate just how advantageous well organized support in units it is. And now we are actually in the UK. It took me a little bit of time, but we were actually able to navally invade, and we were still trying to navally invade, but I guess it broke our ciphers, but at this point, um I guess we did do some force attacks, so uh let's take a look see, got a couple more divisions here to play with. Well, very good, very good, very good. As they're trying to bomb or, or you know sink our convoys, but we're like, nah, not today, bro. And yeah, we're just going to try to go ahead and just move on in if possible. That'd be very nice. Thank you very much. Try to throw some tanks in here as well as motorized. Yes, please. Doing all right, doing all right. And the fall of London. A portion of London confirmed that the English capital has been captured by advancing German troops. Small arms fire can still be heard among some boroughs, but no significant British force have been sided within the city. A detachment of Falschermiega have stormed the Buckingham Palace, but it's believed that the royal family was evacuated well in advance of the attack. For the first time since William the Conqueror, London has fallen to a foreign invader. Another victory for the Vaterland. Ah, uh, they're trying to bomb our stuff, but... Oh well, they, we won't let them. Good, so at this point... One unit up front. I should really get that. Honestly, we just need this one army and the tanks, and that's it. That's literally all we need. Because they're not that bad, before we keep going on. Um, look at all this stuff. That, they're really trying to bomb us. Uh, actually, you know, let's just take a look and see at the UK. <coughs> Excuse me. Up to 60 divisions max. A third of a ma million manpower. Limited supervision. 
ship wise, they still have all their ships, so I'm not sure where their ships went. And then air stuff, well, they have a decent amount of air stuff too. Mm, let's grab that too, because we can. Go ahead and move on in. Oh, they have four divisions there. Three divisions, go bye bye. Even with an enemy cipher broken, they still, you know, well, they're dying. Yay! Very nice, very nice. Go ahead and move on in, it's fine. Liverpool is dropping their organization. Not so much of strength, but definitely the organization. Ah, and we've got them. Not bad. Uh, I do want to take as much as we possibly can. Ooh, we could get to Canada, though, as well. That'd be real nice. Can we take, just take all the UK and uh, Belgium and Luxembourg? Definitely. So at least that. We'll take all this. Um, honestly, we deserve a lot of this. So, can we take all of Canada? We have quite a bit of score still, which is nice. Definitely Yugoslavia. Um, Greece. Let's see, is there any claims here? I'm sure we really want to take all of that. I don't mind taking the this territory too. Egypt wouldn't be bad, controlling the Med. <coughs> Excuse me. Can we take all of it? Uh, cancel all Albania, Ireland, I guess. Canada. We're in Nepal, New Zealand. Um, I mean, I'll take whatever we can get. Australia's not bad. I mean, I don't think we really deserve the Raj, but can we actually take the Raj? The Belgian Congo. It's nice. Can we say Nepal? Can we just take them all? British Malaya? Yeah. Do we do this one? No. British Australia States? Yeah. Ireland? No. I guess we can take them all. Ooh, we're not quite the British Navy. Um, can we actually take all that, really? Did we seriously get all of that? Holy crap. Federation of Yemen. Uh, is it just them? <coughs> oh, worsening Pahang's tungsten mining decline. Move service in production. Restoring tungsten extraction. Malaya has always been a huge mining sector. It's the home of the third largest tungsten mine in the world, but for how long? Geologists are certain in a few years the mine will be depleted and only limited quantities can be extracted from the area. When selected, add 90 days once they're removed. Restraining, that's fine, whatever. Uh, that's interesting. Let's see, what else do we have here? We can do access recruitment in Scotland. Primitive training, that's fine, whatever. Um, so, do more influence stuff, radiation, nothing really right there. Uh, can we not form more Rex Commissariats? Burgundy, of course, Muscovine. What about these guys over here? Second Ljubljana Award, of course, with the Yugoslav question. So I'll just time to turn attention to the Greece. They do have been unjustly aggrandized by the Allies. It's time to see who our friends really are. In Yugoslavia, the Yugoslav state was always an artificial construct and central. Authority started to collapse. It must have been restored order. The only question we face, what would be the best way to do this? First of all, the hypocritical Western powers have reached self, national self-determination while handing over many minorities to be ruled by the Serbs. We're in a position to uh, right the historic wrongs and make friends at the same time. For those who wish to side with us in the European order, we can always be very generous and execute sea line. The time has finally come. We'll put, a thorn, or we'll put our plan to invade Britain into action and finally remove the thorn that, is harbored, uh, that we have harbored for so long and prepare for sea line. The United Kingdom has proven to be a thorn in our side for a long time. The only way to remove the thorn is cross the English Channel and take, take them up by force. Yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we could do that. War with Greece. Face of, face of Greece. Fate of Greece. With the Greece already a war, it would be a shame for Germany to miss out on the base in the Eastern Med. Parentine invasion. <coughs> well, Italians have previously been a friendly political force. 
Our relations have been slow, slowly growing tense, and they're not pulling their weight. To secure some flag, we must evade our former ally. Claim suit to roll. Similar situation of Danzig Rasse, Slorain. Suits are a province that is home to a large German speaking uh, population. We must bring our exiled people back home. Or under German protection. Um, okay, so it's, um, we will do that, but it's going to take a little more time. Of course, we do want to do quality. Nothing over there. Uh, re reuse captured heavy weapons. And at this point, we probably can revive the Iran project. Um, the Iran Project, also known as Uranium Club, has essentially been dissolved under the invasion of Poland and the conscription of scientists into the military. Around this program, by bringing scientists out of the military, maybe the worthwhile venture of our scientific output. Yeah. Yeah, and if that's the case, um, honestly, we might just invade America next. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that's not good. It's like a full stack of 24, just a blitz through here, and like 19 guys right there. And you guys over here, <coughs> if, as long as we don't get killed off by the Soviets, something like that maybe, all the way through there, and the tanks that uh, go here-ish, to there-ish, to like there-ish, could we do that maybe? Yeah, probably, uh, you know, I still want to get, um, Araxumasariats, but we can't make any. Coming to Belgium? I don't want to do that yet. Uh, but yeah, overall not bad. A little easier than I thought it would really. Oh, usually not that bad, honestly. So um, yeah, I think we might just end the episode there and get ready to go to war with the good old Americans because I want to go to war with them first and then slowly just focus on the common turn. Other than that, probably be the best. Uh, yeah, and then have Mexico help us invade in the south and help us invade in the north, though, so, because America, as we saw. A ton of divisions right now, but you know, you never know. We better attack them before we uh, uh, we get there. Wow, and we got all these navies too. So, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll also try to take out, take out America and the Comintern. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.